Hey, it's Jeff Ondash with another edition of Out and About. And today we're in a bit of history, a very historic place, the Youngstown Playhouse. I'm sure if you've if you've lived in the valley for quite some time, at some point your paths have crossed to come in here and, and see a play or a musical or maybe just an, an artist performing. It is, it is uh, an incredibly old but beautiful building and it's housed hundreds if not probably thousands of plays over the years. I am here today, uh, very happy to be here with Bernie Appelis who has is, who is taken this uh, Youngstown Playhouse kind of under his wing and resurrected the whole thing. So thank you very much from our community. Oh, to, you're more than welcome. Uh, it, you've, you've really have done a wonderful job in bringing this playhouse back. Let's go backwards before we go forwards, sure. Bernie. Uh, you, you're a playwright. Yes, sir. And you got involved in, in coming into the Playhouse to help, um, you know, to make sure that it's going to be going forward. Right. But this has a very rich history here. And it started, when, when did it all start here for the Youngstown Playhouse? The Youngstown Playhouse was created in the 20s, the late 20s, 1927. It was originally in the area that we now know as Arlington Heights on the north side. Um, it was... It was uh, property and a building given to the given to this organization well then they outgrew that and they moved to a spot on lower market street which doesn't exist anymore when it was in that spot on lower market street is when the capital campaign started to actually build this eight a real theater with 30 fly lines and light and enough and, and, and electricals and 600 and over 600 seats. Um, it was designed by an architect in New York who designs theaters. It wasn't designed locally by someone it was, as a building. It was designed as a theater, very much like Stamba and Powers were designed to be acoustically sound, to be theaters, not to be a building turned into a theater. Um, another reason why it has lasted so long and never gone anywhere from the south side is because we can't recreate this without spending 10 to 20 times as much money as they spent in 1957 when the capital campaign started to, to create this building. And it opened in 59. We've become a generation of instant fame and instant gratification by American Idol and reality and social media. I have 8,000 hits on YouTube, I'm a star. No, you're not. There's always, a, there's always that one movie or television actor or actress that goes to Broadway and fails. Why? Because they don't have what it, you can't translate what you do in a movie to what you do on stage. So it reminds, I hate to see them fail, but it reminds everyone, see, this is a whole different beast. This is a whole different animal. I got a call the other day from someone at the business incubator who does a lot of public speaking for the business incubator. He was smart, he called here and he said, help me get up in front of a group of people and talk about the business incubator, but make it interesting, make it fun, make it entertaining. That's theater. It's not just acting, it's live speaking, it's public, it's being in front of a group of people and being able to entertain them with either your you know, stock report, because you're the head of the company, or to make Odd Couple. You will laugh your butt off sitting here watching The Odd Couple. All right, so let's talk about what's coming up here now in the present day at the Playhouse. It's back on its feet, it's doing well, and, well. and now you've got a few plays lined up for the rest of the year, so let's talk a little bit about that. Well, we, um, we open The Odd Couple this Friday, the um, 11th, and it runs for two weekends. And, and that's in March, because you'll be watching us a little bit later, so. Yes, March, March, um, March 11th through March 19th, six performances of The Odd Couple. Um, then we opened the, our big spring musical, which is a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Again, two, perform two weekends of performances on our main stage. We close out the regular season with David Mamet's American Buffalo in our smaller theater in the Moyer Room. Um, but then we take a few weeks off and we have our Voices of the Valley new one act play festival. Uh, five years ago, we started the new one act play festival because we knew there were people in this area that are budding writers, from teenagers to adults. People that thought, think, no one's going to read my play but me. Let me just do this for me. That's not true. You don't ever write something just for you. You're writing it to tell somebody something, to share something. 
So five years ago, we started the Voices of the Valley new one-act play festival. And we went from getting five submissions a year to 25 submissions a year. Wow. We, we pick two to three plays. We rehearse them. We cast them. We direct them. The writer has to be at rehearsals. The writer has to be involved. And then we, we have a weekend of public performances that sells out before we're even done announcing it. The Youngstown Playhouse is one of the first or second oldest running playhouses in America? There's two. And we, we vie for the first and second spot. It depends on if you look at, there's one in New Orleans. And if you look at ongoing, which means it never really shut down. It may have relocated for one season based on a building situation. The theater in New Orleans shut down for a couple years. So they don't really get the ongoing. Even when we were up to here in water and mold on the walls, the, a group of people went, no, we can fix this. And they did. They fixed it. I was gone. I wasn't even here when that happened. Alrighty. So if people want to get involved into the Playhouse and, and, and become, I'm sure you have like season ticket holders where they could come and you could buy tickets for the whole year. How, how does somebody do that? Call the Playhouse or go online. It's very simple. You call the Playhouse at 330-788-8739. The number has never changed in 50 years. Um, or you can go online to theyoungstownplayhouse.com. You can buy tickets online. You can print your tickets at home. You can buy your flex passes. We call them flex passes because they are for the season, but one flex pass is six admissions any way you want to use them. In other words, if you wanted to bring, you bought a flex pass and you wanted to bring five people to see the odd couple, you can. If you want to use one flex pass per six shows, you could do it that way. I want to thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the Playhouse sure. and I want to also, at this time, ask everybody out in the audience, if you haven't been here in a while, and I'm guilty of that, I, I walked in here and we, I talked to Greg, the cameraman, and I said, when was the last time you were here? And I'm guilty of that, and, that, and that's wrong. We should be here, and we should be supporting the Youngstown Playhouse. Whether you live in the suburbs, whether you live in the city, we're a valley, we're all the same. So come here and see a play. They're, they're phenomenal. You'll have a great time. There's great restaurants, but three or four blocks away where you could spend the evening after or before the production. But but in any way you can help out the Youngstown Playhouse, just come see a play, be a donor or whatever. Bernie, thank you, thank you very much. Why don't you give the website one more time where they can get the tickets? Um, TheYoungstownPlayhouse.com or 330-788-8739 for any information or just to be added to our mailing list. All righty. That's going to do it for this edition of Out and About. And remember, come on down, see a play. You'll have a great time. Youngstown's alive and well, and uh, we'll see you again real soon.